Hey guys, my name's Sam and welcome to Prep Medic. In this week's video, we are talking about off-body everyday carry. So I've done a number of everyday carry videos about what I have on my body every day. However, I haven't really touched on the ability to carry things off your body. Most of us have some kind of backpack, briefcase, or something that we carry with us almost every single day. So this week, I'm gonna be talking about what my setup is for everyday carry in my backpack. I'm also gonna give you guys some other ideas, things that I might not necessarily carry, but that you might consider depending on what you need for your daily operations. All right, a couple quick disclaimers. Number one, some of the products you're gonna to see today were sent to me for free. I try to keep this as unbiased as possible, and I do actually use the equipment you're going to see. The second thing I need to tell you is that not everything in here is something that I carry in my backpack every day. Uh, one example is the firearm. I don't usually keep that in my backpack. I usually keep that on my persons, but I wanted to demonstrate to you some of the functionality of this pack and give you some ideas of how to carry. So we're gonna start with going over what I carry, what's in this pack, You know, basically just a everyday person, what they could keep in their backpack. And then I wanna go into some of the other offerings that this pack specifically has and some other ideas of how you could carry if you were in more of a professional setting, depending on what you do. So starting out with the pack, this is the Vertex Gamut 2.0. Uh, this is a great everyday carry backpack. I've actually owned one for uh, a number of years. I got this, I believe in 2015, when it first came out, this is their Gen 1. Uh, it really held up. I mean, there's not a whole lot of wear and tear for being almost five years old. And then I reached out to Vertex when I was planning to do this video and just asked if they'd send me an updated uh, gamut. And this is what they sent. And I really, really like this pack. Uh, you will notice that this pack was featured in my gift idea video. And I stand by that. This is a great backpack for pretty much anybody. So on the outside, very thick, heavy duty fabric. Um, everywhere that there's seams, it's all reinforced uh, nylon there. So this is not gonna come apart on you. It's made for hard use. On the front, I've got a Phoenix. This is the LD15R, and this is a 500 lumen flashlight. It's a 90 degree angle. So I can use this as I'm walking. I can just turn it on, see where I'm going, really good work light. And then it also has a red light function for nighttime operations, things like that. What I really like about this light is that it's got a magnetic base. So if I'm working on something, I can just take this and stick it on whatever surface I want, and it's going to stay right there. It is also USB rechargeable. So I really like this. I just keep it uh, clipped to the front of this backpack. And as you can see, I'm having some trouble even getting it on. It does not come off at all. Um, so that's just gonna stick right there. Uh, nothing really else too special about the front. You can run hydration uh, packs out of this and just uh, snake them right up under here. Works pretty well. I don't usually hike with this because it doesn't have a really good waist strap for that, but this is what I'm taking to work. Um, you know, if I'm going to an interview, anything like that, I take this pack with me. So on the back, it has this really heavy duty lifting handle. So if I'm just gonna lift this up, throw this in my car, I just grab it there, can lift it up. And one of the defining features of this pack is its concealed carry pocket. Now, like I said, I don't usually carry my firearm in my backpack. I keep that on my body. It's just better control. And then I can leave this pack somewhere uh, that I'm not constantly with it and feel okay about that. But you can conceal carry in this. It's got this really big pull tab that comes down and I've got one of their Tactigami holsters in there. It's just a Velcro holster. You can use pretty much any holster with Velcro on it and stick it in here, it'll work just fine. You can put extra magazines, anything like that. But this provides a really easy way. You can swing it off one shoulder, pull that down, draw your firearm from that. Uh, works very, very well. So, you know, that's one of the great features of this pack. Now, the other thing coming into this back pocket, I can actually open this all the way so you can get a better view of it. But if you open this compartment up, it actually has a pocket down here, and I have actually inserted some Safe Life Defense backpack armor in this. So what's really cool is that this pass-through on the back serves uh, multiple purposes. 
So if I come up here, I can take my arm, put it through this, and I can actually hold this as a ballistic shield, hold it really close to my body. I can draw my firearm straight out of that and use that to protect myself uh, while drawing my firearm. So a really nice feature to have. Also, if you're just wearing this around, you know, it's protection for your back. It doesn't really add that much weight. Uh, so I really like that functionality and I always have the armor in this backpack just for the just in case moments. This front panel here, and once again, another defining feature of this pack, this is a quick rip away, and I can pull that entire panel down to expose a uh, molly portion of the backpack. Now, this can stow up in there, so if you want to keep it, you know, the tactical look, you don't like the low profile, you don't need the low profile, you can just store this uh, up inside the pack and it won't give you any trouble and you can kind of expose all of this. I keep it in that low profile look just because I don't need all of this displayed. But in here, I've got my Eagle IFAC, which this has, you know, basically all the main supplies I need for bleeding control and major trauma. So a cat tourniquet, pressure dressing, packing gauze, and a chest seal. And then I usually have an NPA and a uh, ARS needle in there as well. Uh, this is rip away, so I can just take this and I can rip this right out of the pack hand that to somebody or carry it, load and go, whatever I need to do. That's one of the defining features of uh, IFACs that I look for as a way to disconnect them and bring them away from the main body. So I don't need to be right with my backpack when I'm using it. I've got one of the old generation uh, tourniquet holders from North American Rescue. I've got a second cat tourniquet there. Behind the Eagle IFAC, I have a pair of my X shears, which these have replaced the Raptors in a lot of ways for me. Um, they're just simpler, easier to clean, and I've found they cut a little bit better as well. And then above that, what some might consider overkill, I do have a pair of Milspec Plastics Cobra Cuffs. These are uh, zip tie cuffs. I keep these on me, especially if I conceal carry, because if I draw my gun, I'm asking somebody, you know, get on the ground, they may comply with me, and I'm hoping that that does not escalate to a deadly force situation. So with this is I can restrain them on the ground, and then when the police come, I don't have my gun drawn because that's putting myself at risk. You know, they're amped up. I don't want to risk, uh, you know, potentially being mistaken for the aggressor in that situation. So I'd rather have the ability to cuff them on the ground if possible. That's why I carry these. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I did spend some time as a SWAT paramedic and a law enforcement officer in Iowa. So I do have some training on that. Uh, but to each their own, that might not be something other people deem as necessary. Now, below this pocket, I actually, because I'm not stowing this portion, I actually keep a SAM splint in there. And a SAM splint for a couple reasons. This is a very versatile splint. Uh, you know, you can use it for a C collar if there's a car accident. You can use it as an arm splint, leg splint. Whatever you need, uh, this will work for you. So I have this in conjunction with my trauma bandages. I can wrap somebody's arm or ankle really quickly with this and get them situated, ready to go. So I just keep that right up in this pocket. If I was to stow this portion of the pack, then I wouldn't uh, be able to store that in there. But because I'm not, I use it that way. Now, this also serves as a, another function. You'll see these clips on it. And these can be clipped to the outside of the pack. And I can actually put like a helmet or uh, clothing, anything like that in there and it'll store it very easily. I don't usually use it like that because I'm not carrying around a helmet with me in my everyday carry backpack, but it is an option for you if you want. All right, so on the outside of the pack, I always have some kind of water bottle in there. I don't actually keep anything in these side pockets because once you fill these side pockets with stuff, it makes it so it's harder to carry the water bottle. Uh, that's why I don't really put anything out here, although you easily could if you didn't have a water bottle or a smaller water bottle there. All right, coming into the top pocket, a couple really easy things. Um, I'm always on my phone. You know, I do a lot with social media, obviously. Uh, so I've got a phone charger and then a Mophie battery charger, you know, we'll charge my phone I think one and a half times. This one's pretty old to be completely honest. Uh, but very good things to have, especially if you're street corner posting in an ambulance and you need some charge, you don't want to be stuck without one of those phone chargers. Main pocket in the backpack. 
So this has a couple ways we can open it. You'll notice these buttons on the side. If I have those buttoned, it will only open like this much. Uh, so it keeps somebody from ripping the entire pack open. Um, it'll keep you from doing the same and spilling everything everywhere over the ground. I usually keep these unbuttoned because I've never had a problem with it. And then you have this tab here, which can come over, stick to the back. And this is for fast opening. If I have uh, time critical items in here, this is big enough to store a mag magazine for one of your guns. Uh, but I just keep a knife and stuff in there. So you'll notice that everything inside this pack is this gray color or this brown color. That makes it really easy to see everything you need. Um, so you're not digging through a black on black backpack looking for your black accessories. It just makes it a lot easier. Um, everything that's not covered by a pocket is Velcro. Uh, so you can put you know, your PVC patches on it. Uh, there's a couple other pouches that uh, Vertex sent me that can go in here. But for the most part, I just keep a couple morale patches because they're fun. Um, in this top pocket here, I have a couple different items. So I've got my prep medic uh, name tape and somebody was asking me where I got these. I actually got a bunch of these with my Safe Life Defense vest. They're not something I had made special outside of that. Um, in here, I've got a Sharpie because those are super useful. I've got my uh, Phoenix LD30. Uh, this is a great flashlight. It's got a tail switch there, so it's a great as a tactical light. What I really like though is that the tail switch doesn't change modes. You have the mode button on top. Um, so you always know the tail switch is gonna work and it's gonna save whatever setting you last had. And then this switch on the side can change its mode into whatever you need, so including a strobe. Very, very bright, 1600 lumens at its brightest, uh, but it's still pretty compact. And then it does have a dual-sided uh, pocket clip. Put this in a pocket, or you can even put it on a brim of a hat, and it'll work as a uh, headlamp like that. So those stay in these pockets up here. I do wish these were a little bit bigger. Uh, I have a off-grid knives uh, knife in here. Uh, you saw this uh, last week or two weeks ago. I've just been keeping that in here. It's got a window punch on it. You know, there are so many uses for a knife. That being said, I've had to preface this on every single EDC video. So I do not carry knives for self-defense. I carry these as tools uh, because really I don't know how to fight with a knife and I'm more prone to hurt myself than actually win an altercation with that. So this is a tool for me to use, you know, opening boxes, you name it. All right, coming a little bit deeper into this pack. So right up front here, I carry uh, my 15 inch uh, Lac uh, MacBook Pro. You know, I do a lot of video editing. I'm in school. Uh, I watch a lot of videos. So uh, I always have this laptop with me. It's got one of the in case hard cases on it. What I like about this pack is it's got this black protective padded um, sleeve that goes in here. So it really keeps this pretty well protected. Uh, unfortunately, I had my last pack was run over by an ambulance and it destroyed my last la uh, MacBook. So it doesn't protect it against forces like that, but for your usual bumps, scrapes, or drops with this, it's going to keep your laptop uh, very secure. And I just have a pair of Beat Studios so I don't annoy my partner in the ambulance when I'm watching stuff and my charger for that. In these pockets here, uh, you know, these are pretty heavy duty mesh. You can still see what's in it, uh, but it's not gonna rip or anything. I carry a granola bar because I always get hungry. And then I carry these, the noon hydration. They're actually disgusting, uh, but I bought them and they have caffeine in them, which is the important part. So if I have to drive a really long distance in the ambulance or anything like that, I'm gonna fall asleep. I can pop one of these in my water bottle and uh, be safe for that drive. So I always keep some kind of caffeine along with me. Also, I'm way too addicted to caffeine. I get a headache if I don't have it within four hours. So I keep up on that. In this pocket down here, you can see this is pretty jam packed, uh, but in here I've got a Maxpedition, or Maxpedition organizer. And this is kind of my miscellaneous item. So uh, I've got a Gerber dime in there, which is a small multi-tool. I've got a big thing of lip balm a pair of gloves, carabiner, I carry some band-aids in there, and then just some over-the-counter meds like Zyrtec, ibuprofen, uh, Tums, things like that. You know, this is kind of my general pocket, and then a little bit of tape there. So that all goes in that pocket, and then besides that, I've got a space blanket. You know, 
I've said it a million times, hypothermia kills and trauma. So if I come across an accident scene, I can wrap them in this after some insulation. And then I also carry just a little bit of saline rinse. This is a very sturdy bottle. I'm not worried about this rupturing, getting my laptop wet or anything like that, but I carry that in there as well. A couple things I didn't talk about before. This hook right here can be used to hang a hydration pouch right down here in the sleeve. Works pretty well. And then you can run those hoses out the side. Uh, so, you know, that's one option for you. Like I said, I don't really hike with this backpack a lot. I've got a separate one for that. Uh, Vertex actually makes a gamut that's built for backpacking and hiking, which is pretty cool. Um, it's the same functionality, except it's got the big waist strap and is shaped a little bit differently for a larger load. Now, this is all the stuff I have in this pack for my everyday carry, what I'm going to have just kind of day-to-day -day operations. But this pack can be used for a couple other things, and there are a couple other options for you depending on what your needs are. One of the great things about this is, is that they've let you customize this pack as much as you want depending on what you need. So it's not a one-size-fits-all. This laptop organiz organizer actually comes out, comes out very easily, leaving you a completely exposed loop field that you can either keep this blank, you can fill this pack up to the brim with whatever you need, or they have a couple different organization options for you. All right, one of the first organizational options are these overflow kits. Now, you don't need to remove that liner to put a couple of these in, but if you want to fill the whole thing with these uh, customizable pouches, you can. These are just uh, attached by a hook field on the back, and they have a little tape right here that you can write what's in them. So I could write BVM. Like in here, I've got one of my pocket BVMs. You know, basically transforms this into a med kit with very compartmentalized areas in here for different supplies. So in here, I can carry my MPAs, chest seals. I've got bleeding control stuff, packing gauze, all that good stuff. And then I've got some tourniquets in there, plus the extra storage on the front of this. So this is one option. And these overflow pouches come in a bunch of different sizes. You can get them really long and do two up and down. Um, you can do a bunch of these smaller ones, but this really allows you to customize this kit. So while those pouches are great, they're not something that's super quick to trade out if you have different missions or are doing something different with your day. If you like Molly panels and you like to be able to secure, secure a ton of stuff on them, they also will send you a sock P panel. Um, so this stands for Special Operations Combatives Program. And basically what this is, is this is a plastic panel that you can mount Molly attachments onto and really quickly trade this out. So on this panel, I put like a BVM, a little bit of a bigger med kit. I've got an Ag Light Tactical Personnel Carrier on here, which is just a bunch of straps that you can put under somebody and do a single person carry uh, if you need to get them out of a situation and a Team Wendy radio pouch. You can just take these, throw these in here, zip your pack up and be ready to go. And then if you need to change it, I can just pull this one out and put a different one in depending on what I need. So one more option for you. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, you know, I really like uh, the Vertex bag. This is what I've been using for a long time, but there are a lot of different products out there. Just make sure you get something that works for you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will see you next week.